Hello Leo and welcome to your reading for the month of July. So we will check your general reading. Uh, we will check also your career, love, personal growth challenge, your health and for the end of the video I will pull three letters from this bowl to see what might be significant letters of uh, initials of the names, places, right? So okay, let's go. If you are new here, hello and welcome. If you haven't, please consider subscribing to get more no notifications or more videos. I do many videos on topics of love, career, finance and personal growth. So I will do a Celtic cross for the spread to see what's going on in July for you, my Leos. So let's see. Okay. So your main energy will be Page of Pentacles. Your influence will be the Tower. Okay. Your base energy here is Two of Pentacles. Your previous uh, past position was Two of Cups. Your mental energy right now is Six of Pentacles. Okay, so a lot of Pentacle energy. Your future position is Ace of Swords. Then your subconscious area is the Devil. Your advice card here is the Lovers. Your future influence is Knight of Wands. And your outcome here is Eight of Swords. Okay, so let's go. So this might be connected to somebody close to you, a male person, a younger male, or this is some kind of a project you have started with this pentacles energy. This might be also an, an idea um, that's related to finance or career, right? And we have the tower energy here. So the tower energy is influencing your beginning here, right? Your progress somehow in your finance area. Uh, the tower energy usually it's an abrupt ending or things collapse, collapses, right? So um, this is your mental position, mental energy right now. So what your thoughts, your mental process, right? And it's uh, connected with six of pentacles so this is equal give and take so so something about this is changing for you guys you're maybe changing your perception on how to give and how to take right you're maybe re-evaluating um income and outcome right you are maybe re-evaluating re uh, re how much do you receive and how much you give um and again we have here this duality right give and take two of pentacles right having to decide about something or working with two different energies, right? We also have here the past position two of cups. This is somehow significant. This might be your relationship. It might be connected to love or a career, right? But there seems to be some kind of a decision or some kind of a new cooperation, new kind of uh, communication with this younger energy of Knight of Wands, right? This Knight of Wands might be helping you from this uh, tricky situation here that is Eight of Wands, uh, Eight of Swords, sorry. So in month of July, there might be some kind of uh, resolution that might be coming from a younger person um, who has the qualities of Knight of Wands. And they might help you somehow to rebalance, reevaluate, to change some things, right? So your uh, subconscious area is talking about um, the devil energy, right? The devil energy usually is um, being bound to something or unhealthy habits or some kind of addiction. So um, there is a need to, um, to gain knowledge about where you feel bound right because we have here also this energy is feeling bound right to something feeling trapped so you're not realizing that something is making you feel like that right because this is subconscious area so try to really think about what is making you feel trapped or closed off or in some other manner right 
uh, your advice here is the lover card. So the lover card, lovers card also signifies some kind of a choice that needs to be made. But this could be also connected to some person that is close to you that can offer help to you, right? You can lean on them for help, right? So this is your advice to take, um, communicate with somebody here that is close to you. This might be a younger male person. Um, they can help you move away from this tricky situation here that's present in July, right? I will pull one more cla clarifier for the outcome. Okay, so they might uh, be helping you to leave from this situation that is Eight of Swords to Five of Swords, right? So I see here, here this person is um, reducing the swords that's around them, right? So you might be reducing some kind of load. You might be reducing some kind of stress that's causing you to feel that trapped, right? Uh, you might be cutting off some people here. Uh, but generally, I think this month of July will be important for you guys to reduce something, right? That's making you feel trapped. Okay, so let's move forward to your finance area or your career area. What is your advice for career? Let's see. I will pull from this two Oracle decks. So what is your advice, Leo? Let's see. We have um, set higher goals and standards, and we have uh, notice your thoughts. We will dive more into this. Let's just check these two cards also. We have the artist and we have the, the music. So. Okay, so in your career, right, there is a need to set higher standards or higher goals, right? Uh, you also need to give yourself more higher goals uh, in order to achieve something that's better for you guys, right? Um, in this card, notice your thoughts. As I was saying before, you need to notice something that's making you feel trapped, right? You're not still realizing something that may be causing you to feel that way, right? And um, if these are maybe clients that are uh, demanding, that demand lower price maybe, and it is making you um, feeling not balanced between costs and income, right? This might be the case of that, right? So this is general. But this might be any other way, maybe you need to set higher price for your product or you need to um, you need to demand higher salary, right? Higher income, right? So this is talking about that. Um, with this artist card, uh, it talks to me that you that you have the power to change things here. So if you are working for yourself, if you are independent, uh, working for yourself, you have the power to change something. So that might be pricing, that might be the way how you operate, right? If you're working for somebody, this is saying that you have the power uh, or art to change the conditions here. Also, music can be somehow connected to you uh, in this um, area of career, or this just could be talking that people will listen to you, right? They will listen to what you have to say. Okay, so let's move forward to your love area. What advices do cards have for your love? Let's see. Again, I will pull from these two decks. Okay, so we have liberation. Free yourself from negative attachment. Then we have evolution. It says changes on Earth, um, global changes and um, transformation. Then we have here pillar of light. This card has, um, I've 
Keep been pulling this card, Dave, for other signs also. That's interesting. And we have Awakening. Okay, so in love area, it doesn't matter if you are single or in a relationship. The key to you, to you feeling uh, free and liberated is that you need to evolve something, right? You need to change something uh, in how you operate. We see here changes on Earth. So this is like something on material level or something in just the earthy sphere, right? So you need to change how you act, how you conduct things uh, in love, right? Um, if you are dating uh, somebody and it doesn't, um, it's again that unhealthy attachment, you need to move away from that, right? This is a sign that you need to move. You need to make something, change something and do something different, right? It's not talking that much about thinking, but it's more about doing, right? And also here with Pillar of Light, we have your vibration is rising, you are the oracle, right? So if the situation starts feeling uncomfortable for you, this is because you are uh, advancing and you are uh, evolving and you are maturing, right? So the things that were uh, acceptable in the past, they are not acceptable anymore. So because you are awakening, right? You are receiving energetic updates and as you see here, a new way of being and integration. Same as here, you need to conduct things different, right? You need to act different. You need to act according to this higher um, pillar of light, right? Higher vibration, right? So um, let's move forward, guys. Let's check your personal growth challenge for the month of July. So let's see. Where do you have the opportunity to grow and when, what you can do to mature and prosper and grow in your personal life or in the area of personal growth. So let's see. We have focus on higher truth, okay? And learn from karma. So this to me is saying like basically learn from your mistakes, learn from your cycles, right? You need to be, um, you need to have attention on the cycles and you need to have attention towards what kind of uh, cycles you're repeating, what kind of patterns you're repeating, right? And with this focus on higher truth, this tells me that you have to also Take a look at your side, right? Not only from the other perspective, right? But also consider what you can change on how you can act uh, in a different way or react in different manner, right? Okay. So let's check your health cards. I'm not a doctor. This is just general information. So let's see. Okay, so we have help in the house. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. And take a rest. You need to sleep. So you might be overworking yourself and there is just need to rest, right? Um, if you're living in a community or you have your own family, right? Uh, there is a need for other people to help you if you, this is connected to your work area. Uh, the things are not balanced. You are overtaking other people's responsibilities and you are overworking yourself because of that, right? So there is a need to balance. And of course, there is a need for you to take more rest. You need to sleep more. Uh, take daily naps if you need, um, but there is a really need to recharge in this manner, right? Uh, so let's see the final thing here. I will pull three letters for um they might be significant somehow for you in the month of july this might be initials of names last names or places or any other thing okay so let's see we have letter w we have the letter z and we have the letter s 
So this might be your initials or somebody else's or place to live or where you need to move or whatever, right? So let's see numbers. We have here 4, 10, uh, 1, which is 15, and it reduces to 6. So you might also check uh, numerology, uh, number 6. It might also offer more clues, right? Okay, guys, this is end of your reading. Thank you for watching and listening. If you like the video, please like it, um, comment, and subscribe if you haven't, if you want to see more content. Um, also, go check your rising and moon sign to get more information and more clarity. I wish you the best of luck and see you next time.